What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into another video. Today's video is going to be about Corvus. I want to try to teach you guys as much as I can with Corvus. Give you enough tips and tricks for the basic of Corvus. Alright, I'm going to teach you how to be an effective healer with Corvus. Okay, as of right now, I'm just going to go really fast through his abilities. Alright, um, nothing too crazy. His, his weapon, 50 bullets, 70 damage, does 105 on headshot and the range that it it starts losing damage is around here all right this is the range that it starts losing damage you can do 1000 damage per second with this it's insane if you hit your shots you can mow down people like nothing as for his movement ability or his f or shift whatever you use it's this dagger his dagger you throw the dagger and if you see this little bar projection bar on top of the ultimate if you trigger it again before this bar goes down you can teleport wherever the dagger goes the dagger has that limit it can be stuck in the air honestly it's just when it hits the limit that's where it goes and then you can just trigger it again and you teleport instantly to it but it doesn't just do that it also will deal damage to people that you hit and slow them down as you see here he's being slowed down not anymore it's just for like one second it's really brief it doesn't do the little arrows in the back and that underneath him that's kind of a bug um and, and not just that, it also, you don't have to use it. You can just throw it and just leave it. You don't have to use it. And if you don't use it, it takes, it takes one second away from the next cooldown from the next dagger. That's right. That's a very cool combo because if you use it, here, you got eight seconds as a cooldown now, right? But if you don't use it, you'll notice that it will go to seven. But there's a problem. You have to wait three seconds for the projection bar to go down to then be able to have that seven second cooldown so at the end of the day it doesn't really like it, it one second completely denies one of the, the three seconds of the cool of the projection bar so you still have to end up waiting two more seconds if you don't use your dagger all right now on to his main healing his main healing is sort of like a hybrid from his mark and his right click his mark is the q and it's that little thing that right now it's kind of bugged, I believe. I have to kill the Fernando real quick here. All right, I had to actually retro, uh, like, re I had to go back into the menu, unfortunately, because uh, it kind of bugged out because I changed champions before. This is around the range you can go. Look at that. It's gonna disappear now, boom, disappear now. All right, this is about the range you can go to apply a mark, that's insane. The mark doesn't just, you know, gives uh the chain heals for those who don't know it does chain heals yeah so if you have a second ally and you put a mark to this fernando and you heal that person fernando is going to get 55 percent of what you heal the main person but what does he heal in like even from the start can we know yes we can it does around 350 hp up to 0 0.5 seconds and then it does an 800 burst of hp as you saw there right in the end so Sorry about my phone. Uh, so it's like the Fury, but reversed. Instead of you doing the burst in the beginning, you do it in the end. And then you just do another. Of course, Kronos is going to be your best friend with this. So definitely want to use it. But there is a combo here. His heals will connect to the mark, correct? So if you heal somebody else, the person with the mark will get a heal. But what happens when you heal the person with the mark? Two things, actually. First of all, you will give 10% more HP to this person. And second of all, it will reduce you one second to your heals. So, uh, I can't really mark another ally to show you anything, so I'm just gonna let uh, Fernando here gonna take some damage. Also, you're gonna see some 50 popping up every once in a while. That's the talent, just forget about it. We're gonna apply the mark, and we're gonna heal him. Look at the 800, it was 880. We're gonna do it again, just in case you didn't see it. 880, right there. All right, so you heal him for more and you reduce one second cooldown on that healing ability because if before it was four seconds, now it's three seconds and then you can just go ahead and buy Kronos to the max, of course. And you're gonna be healing him every two, three, two and a half seconds or so. So now you're gonna be able to heal him for a lot more. And there's even one thing that you can even do more. Look at that, it's now 968. You, you notice that I did a 968 heals there? Why is that? Why would I be able to heal more? Well, that's because of this card right here. 
Increase the healing you do by 10% while or at or below 60% HP. So the less HP you have, the more you can heal somebody else. It's actually a pretty cool thing, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't aware of this card up until today, so I had to re-record everything. Um, so yeah, it helps a lot. This card, however, you're probably looking at it and, saying, and thinking, oh, that means I can even get even more 10 HP. Uh, percent, uh, HP. No. This card would only give 10% more to the person with the mark. If you're healing somebody else who doesn't have the mark, all right? Or you can even heal a second person with a mark because there's a talent that allows you to place two marks. But the person who didn't got healed directly will get these 10%, all right? This is good for the two marks talents, all right? Uh, if you really want to go with Dark's Gifts, I can, I like, the, the, the one that gives you the buff, you know, this one, it gives CC reduction, cooldown reduction, 15% below speed, and if it heals every one second 50, this is really good for Dragon Fang's Koga, for example, so he can sustain himself a little bit more. If you want to go with this, there's another deck that I'll show you, but as of right now, spreading influence that I've been running with this, I, first of all, you're going to be healing yourself every time you heal, so remember to heal somebody with a mark. If you have two marks, you apply two marks, right? You apply one to a person really far away because you saw the range that it has, it's insane. The second mark, however, you're going to apply to somebody close to you and you're going to heal him. You don't want to heal somebody who doesn't have the mark to then heal the other two people, only in last case scenario, all right? But as if right now, you want to heal that person. You want to heal that person that is standing right in front of you that you applied a mark to because then you're going to reduce one second of your heals and you're going to be able to spam those heals faster so you save the person really far away. And then you just cycle through the um, the heals and that's pretty, pretty good, all right? With that said, uh, now let's go over his ultimate, all right? Mark, heals, and that's pretty standard. You got another person, you mark him, you heal him, it's going to heal that person as well because they're linked. You can heal somebody who doesn't have the mark and you end up healing two people with two different marks because of this talent. Remember, you lose 15% of the 55% that they would be getting. So that's why I have this card to compensate for it. So it gets back to 50%. So that's not that bad. Um, now let's go over his ultimate. His ultimate is going to create a, like a little pool of uh, electricity or something like a power from the abyss right it's going to deal percentage damage not numbers not not specific numbers and it's going to deal deal 15 percent of max hp straight away with the initial explosion and then it's going to deal 6.25 percent every 0 0.5 seconds so every one second you're going to be dealing 12.5 percent and if you don't understand about the percentages here they're going to be having the same amount of the bar in the end as you can see around the same percentage good thing with this you can do is get cauterize because you can spread the cauterize really quick because then you got an SNG right and when you use your ultimate you apply the cauterize then you use your ultimate and it's gonna be harder for them to survive the ultimate doesn't just do that it also slows down people so you're gonna be able to slow down people from there. You can cancel the ult and you get 40% back. You don't have to use it. You can even use your ultimate for movement. You can go up here if you want to, for example. There's a Bomb King coming up. You just use this and you get out. Oh, by the way, about this Bomb King tip, I'll talk to you guys in the end of the video because there's somebody else I want to also want you guys to check out the video from. Uh, but as of right now, we're gonna use the ultimate on these walking, uh, walking pips. And you're gonna see they're slowed down now. And you can even slow them down even more with the dagger, because remember the dagger slows down people? Look at that. So easy. So perfect. The range on this is really, really nutty, but as of right now, to move with the ultimate, you're gonna have to look in the direction you wanna go, and you press W, alright? You wanna go up, you press W, you wanna go down, you press W. You wanna walk in a horse while in the ultimate, press the shift, let's go. And you can still use it. Pretty cool. That's that's not, that's a thing that only happens on training grounds, by the way. It's a joke, okay? You you can't you can't use that in a real game, okay? And the range of this, as you can see, I'm gonna look down because it pulls you straight away up. You sure you guys notice? Is it ran this? Look at that! Look at that! Look at the range that this has. I hit the three victors in the back from across the map. I mean, if that's not great, I don't know what is. This is absolutely insane. Probably one of the the ultimates with the 
biggest range in the game, I would say. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's insane. This is broken, actually. All right, the, the range is insane. It should be a little bit more limited, but hey, whatever. You can use this to many different things. You want to go over a wall, you know. You can use this. You go over a wall, and while you're in the sky, you can look at the point. There's people on the point, and then you boom. You just do this, and then you use the dagger to go to another place to reposition yourself. Or, if you really want to be, you know, in style, you can use the dagger to get up there and then use the ultimate and boom. To get max height as fast as possible. This ultimate is really good, as I mentioned, you really do need to apply cauterize though, so, yeah. Now let's talk about his talents. His first talent, if you apply a mark to somebody, that person with the mark is going to get 15 CC reduction, so slows, stuns, you know, knockbacks, pretty good. Um... 10% cooldown reduction. That's really nutty if you really want to go with a Cassie insta the dodge roll. You get full Kronos and the card that produces the next dodge roll when you hit somebody. You put this on that Cassie. That Cassie is going to be dodge rolling for days, all right? It's insane. You want to put that 10 cooldown reduction on a rum so he has this movement ability faster? Do it. It's insane. It's actually insane. It's not much, but it's really good. 50% um, reduce speed. Do not advise you to use this if you have a Maeve, for example, or an Imani. I mean, you're not going to do any absolutely anything to them with this. Uh, but, I mean, if you want to try to give the other benefits, it's pretty cool. Um, and then you can also heal them every one second for 50. Second, for 50. As for this, I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to change this loadout to be able to help you guys heal a little bit more. Do not put this one, all right, because, uh, I mean... It helps you, but you don't lose this 15% initially. It could still help, yes, but what you can do, however, to be even a little bit more nutty with this, is you can actually give lifesteal to people. You're even giving another extra benefit, but for the dark gifts, because then they're going to have 25% lifesteal, right? And what's going to happen is everything they heal from it, it's going to be back to you as well. So that's perfect. You don't need to go with the card that heals you as, as well. Now... I mean, you can always potentially get this in here, this, this, and even this, and you become a full-on buffer, right? And then you put a couple of points in everywhere. You want to give them more speed? Sure, give them more speed. You want to give them a little bit more, uh, you know, a little shield. Every time you apply a mark, you can go with that. Oh, and here's the thing. The other talent that allows you to spread, put two marks now, they have no extra benefits. In, fa in fact, they lose 15% of the uh, 55 initial. You can do that. And imagine that, for example, let's go here, I don't know, uh, let's go into this one, actually. And we're going to just edit this one out. We're going to clear it out. Um, you can spread shields. 250 shields for two seconds. You can apply a mark every two seconds. You've got two marks. You can spread shields through people, and you can deal up to 20,000 shielding per match with this. It's insane, but it's not going to save people, so I advise you to be careful here with this. You want to buff them, you can do as give them with this. Um, up to you what you really want to do. I mean, you can give them, you can be a full-on shielding buffer. I mean, up to you guys what you want to do, honestly. Um, don't feel like it would be the best, but... I mean, it's still pretty cool. This card is absolutely garbage because if you, even if you put more points into it, it only increases the time, the five percent. So yeah, don't use it. All right, just, just don't, just don't use it, please. Don't, don't use it. Okay. Be, be a good person and don't use that card. All right. So yeah, you want to go with this nutty thing? Sure. Um, now on to his little damage uh, talent, Son of Visage. What does this do? Uh, as you guys remember, as I mentioned, wait, am I using the right thing? I don't think I'm using the right thing. Am I using the right thing? Oh, it's this one, but we're going to edit it out. We're going to clear it out, and I want you guys to put two things in here. This and this. I'm going to main it out to five points. And from then on, I mean, you can either put uh, heals for yourself... Shield maybe, and maybe some extra HP. And you want to put like one point here, one point here. The reason why I'm trying to do this, actually you're going to put data here and just forget about this card at all. And just put like something like this will even help you out through time. Um, the damage talent, what it does is, remember the dagger that does damage if you hit people and you, t and you just, you know, slows them down. Now, it will stun them. And if you teleport in the direction of the dagger and they're standing in the way, 
you're going to be able to do even more damage. So 400, stun, 600. But they have to be on that line of sight of where you are to when you are going to be with the dagger, okay? So... And then you can get Chronos, and the thing is, you can even go further, because right now, the, one of the cards is reducing the cooldown of the dagger, but you heal, boom. Right, and then you got the Chronos and everything. You're gonna be healing... Every time you heal people, it's gonna reduce the cooldown of the dagger. Just gonna see the dagger is gonna stop now. Remember the one second cooldown, boom. That if you don't use a dagger, it's also gonna reduce it. And then you can just heal somebody. Every five seconds. And if you wanna see this, there's an option here. That you can go down here and show cards cooldowns, right? So, it should be showing around here in this area a card. As soon as that card disappears, that means you can use this again to reduce the cooldown of the, the dagger again. So, you heal. Right now, you see it didn't reduce it, but now it did. So yeah, you can have a lot more daggers a lot faster, and this is really, really good. For example, if there's a Fernando, he's holding the shield, you can just throw the dagger through the shield and he loses the shield. Makoa, same thing. Uh, Khan, same drill, he goes down, he goes through them, all right? You can go through multiple different enemies at the same time, boom. You can even do something like this, you hit three people at the same time, and boom, and then you start shooting them, you get that, that damage going on, boom, 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 boom. Look at that, it's insane. Like, if, if, they're, if they're close range maps and they're standing together too, um, too often, I mean, perfect, right? You can go up on high places with this. Remember, you can also use the ultimate for it. You don't have to use it, you can just use it for stuns and then you apply like this and if you want to teleport then you can do it. Another tactic that I like to use is I usually do this and they're starting to look at me and then I just do this. You know, you get, you see around how much is the 600 HP, usually the 600 HP would be something like, like almost three bars. So if we do like this and we do this around here, there you go. So yeah. So as you see, guys, there's a lot of things that people don't know about us. For example, healing somebody with a mark will reduce one second of that mark. That's perfect. That's awesome. Also, if you're wondering, the marks will disappear. If the person dies, it goes to somebody else. But if you die, they disappear entirely, so you have to apply new marks the next, the next time you spawn. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, and now, I just want to give it a small shout-out to somebody, which would be Andrew Chicken. I want you guys to go check out his video as well. I'm gonna be putting it up on screen as of right now. Give me just a second. And I'll also leave the link in the description. He did a more edited video than mine. Uh, I actually talked to him because he told me he was gonna do that uh, the day that I was already recording. So unfortunately, it's like we just found out each other that we were doing this at the same time. But go check him out. He's a very underrated content creator. He does a lot of things for Paladins. You can also check it out. Uh, 4.38 subs. I'm gonna sub myself, and I I don't know why it wasn't subbed yet, but still, um, he did a how to play Corvus and Paladin's Ultimate Guide. This one is even further than mine. Faster, more precise, more editing. Unfortunately, I'm in remodeling right now, so I really can't do that. Remember the ultimate? Here it is. It gives you CC meter and 60% damage reduction when you're in the ultimate. Forgot to mention that. Um, the initial blow 15% and it goes for 6 seconds, slows down 33%, there you go, and so yeah. He has a lot of things in here, he has gameplay, he, <clears throat> he explains how to get, um, you know, how to heal uh, more effectively and everything else, but hey, it's up to you guys, it would be really cool, it would be really awesome if you guys went there and check out his guide, watch it entirely, I'm gonna be watching it as well as soon as I can. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I helped you guys with anything so you can be a little bit more effective. I can come up with some gameplay in the future and, um, you know, some new cards and sets and everything. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, have a wonderful time. And just before I go, if you're wondering how to get the skin, it's on the Season Pass. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye. Stay safe.